Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create server level trigger in SQL Server, and we'll be using T-SQL script in order to create server level trigger. First of all, what is trigger? Trigger is a special kind of store procedure with, which gets executed, or in other words, they call it gets fired uh, when certain event happen. And if event happen on SQL Server instance, that is captured by the server level trigger, and if, if event happened uh, inside the uh, uh, SQL Server instance on the database, that is captured by the database level trigger. So uh, the example of a server level trigger would be if somebody will drop a database on particular SQL Server instance and you would like to know, you can create a server level trigger on dropping database or if somebody will create a database on a particular SQL Server instance and you would like to know, you can create server level trigger on that. And there are tons of scenarios where you can use server level triggers. Same with the database. Let's say somebody updated certain tables, somebody dropped some tables, uh, somebody uh, <clears throat> uh, truncated some tables and you would like to know and you can create database level triggers. Um, on uh, inside the SQL Server database and capture all that information. So in this particular video, we're going to use one scenario that if somebody will create a database on a particular SQL Server instance, how you capture that information and you, you create the trigger and you would like that trigger to get fired every time somebody would create a database. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my SQL Server instance right here. Tech Brothers Client and SQL Mirror is my instance. In order to uh, basically go and take a look if there there is any trigger created on this uh, server level trigger created on this particular instance, you you need to go uh, expand the SQL Server instance and expand server objects. And right here is triggers. If there is a trigger created already, you will see it right here but right now there is no trigger created if you right click on the triggers you don't get an option using graphic user interface in management studio to create server level triggers so what we're going to do is we're going to use t-sql script in order to create that that uh, trigger script i'm going to create server level trigger so i'm going to load that and let's go through the script real quick First, I'm creating the trigger uh, on create database for and drop database. You can add all the events that you wanted to capture uh, for server level trigger right here. And after that, what you want to do is event data is basically um, a function that will collect the data on all events for you. And this is the function. This is pretty important function and you can collect all kind of uh, events around using this uh, around the SQL Server instance using this uh, particular function. So right now what I'm uh, doing right here is I have created a table called permission audit or uh, you can create any table you want to or db creator audit or however you want to but i went ahead and created a permission audit table right here so what i'm going to do is basically uh, i'm inserting the data and i'm using uh, event data function to collect the data when anytime somebody will create uh, a database up here or uh, on, on this particular uh, SQL Server instance or drop database on this particular uh, ser SQL Server instance. So what I am capturing right here is event type, what type of uh, event is, whether it's a database create or database drop, and event data, event data basically will be XML data. The C C uh, server login, who created or deleted that database, and what kind of T-SQL text was uh, basically provided in order to create the database or drop the database. So these are the events I'm basically capturing and putting it in permission uh, audit. I have created this permission audit in master but you can create in any other database where you have permission. Have a profile already you need to have a DB send configured already if you don't know how to configure DB send please watch my video how to uh, configure DB send mail. Um, I'm using the Gmail uh, SMTP server so that's why I have uh, a recipient Tech Brothers uh, SQL gmail.com. You can send recipient to any anyone but however you need to configure the profile 
an account on SQL Server and um, that I used SQL Server uh, Gmail uh, SMTP. So it's going to go ahead and send me email every time this event happened and in organization being a DBA you would like to send this particular um, message anytime drop or create database happen to your team so that you know that who created the database who dropped the database because these are pretty good audit um, uh, events that you wanted to capture in the end what I, what I'm doing right here is truncating the data once it send me the email I don't need that data I have in uh, in the email so it's up to you if you still wanted to keep the data you can insert into another table where you wanted to keep the data for uh, database uh, retention table uh, something like that uh, you can keep that data but for demo purposes I'm going to go ahead and basically truncate the table every time something happened and we'll go through that in a second and um, we'll check an email whether we get that email or not so let's go ahead and run this script let me quickly make sure that uh, we don't have the trigger let's refresh so we don't have trigger so we're gonna go ahead and run this particular script as you can see command uh, uh, completed successfully if we refresh the trigger we should see the trigger right now this is our db create trigger so this trigger is going to get fired every time you create the database on this instance or drop the database on this instance so we're going to go ahead and basically create a database on this instance and see that if this will send us an email if this trigger gets fired so i'm going to go ahead and demo to I, I'm, I, I'm just creating uh, a dumb database right here so this database is created keep in mind that all this query if you do not have this table created already then it's going to give you uh, error it'll go ahead and create the uh, basically your um, um, trigger but uh, it will not capture any data because it cannot find that table so let's go ahead and look at in my email this is my email and let's go ahead and see audit create or drop database let's look at the option right here this is the drop database I did it a little bit earlier so we're gonna go ahead and look at the latest email this is the create database as you can see that uh, create database is right here and right here the create database uh, event data and who created that tech brothers cluster admin is the user who created the data database and here is the t sql text that what was basically uh, provided to create that database you don't need to uh, uh, do the text but uh, i usually like to get the text uh, in some other events when i i like to uh, capture other events so i'm going to go ahead and um, uh, delete this particular database and see if we get this uh, trigger fired again so I'm going to go ahead and delete this all right database deleted successfully so let's see that if we got an email and look at that what kind of email it's drop database and here is the drop database so basically this is how you uh, create this uh, again I'm um, repeating that uh, this script will be available on SQL age blog and you can go ahead and download that this is pretty good script and mostly did DBS use this script uh, in order to capture these uh, important events uh, create database and drop database